if you hear the noise, you hear the noise. It's raining. And uh, try then set that right there with the skid steer. First time she'd moved that with the skid steer. That was day before yesterday, I think. I don't remember. They all roll into one. And I'll be honest, I just did a clip and I just wasted it because it was too long and I rambled on too long. But she was up and taking a drink, having breakfast, and now she's laying down. And mom even reached out to say hi. And no other new babies over at the other end. Yeah, let's see if mom will reenact it. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, there we go. And she's in a better spot to get a good shot of. Morning, kid. It'd be nice if it wasn't raining. It'd be a better day to put her out. She may not go out yet. May keep her in for another couple days. Just to make sure. Don't need to have issues. So, anyway. Blue goes to the vet today. It's in a couple hours. I'm going to go dink around with something in the shop, I guess. Maybe I'll see about the tail light mounts. I don't know. Well, we dropped Blue off with the vets. I took him back to prep him. And now we're kind of checking fields. One of our landowners owns this. And we just found out the other day that they've been logging. These guys are going through the field to get to it. Oh, we uh, okay. didn't know where they were going through the field to get to it. They just go through the little one. I only like a two acre strip there. The main fields right there. And obviously they haven't been out there. That's what I was afraid of. We were going to have a big yeah, mess I over there. They went down there, but that ain't nothing. Disc will work that up, but then I get trouble. So, this was where the fire was too. The fire actually, yeah, last year we were up here and year before I guess the fire made it right almost to their house up here because it almost burned their mailbox I know uh, tell them I know him yeah you might I do the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the fire was literally just 50-60 feet out here so that's where it drops off and it came up and actually jumped well, right you can here see the black on the trees right yeah there. there burnt trees yeah right here too and they scorched Scorched everything here, you know, here and there, like that one's a little burnt. That one got a little, don't know how the hell the fire didn't take the house. It went all the way but, around. Too. Anyway, because these burnt ones are still standing, yeah, burnt all the way around here, but they're still laid out to put houses on. Yeah, this little strip here that broke up in like three little pieces to put out. Crazy. Yeah, that's why they haven't sold them because they broke it all up to do that right before the fire. <laughs> so, anyway, I figured I'd show you that. A little foggy up here on top. And no, this is not my car. Oh, yeah, we're in the toaster. We're Everybody's seen the toaster. Yeah. First time I've ever been in the toasters today. But we'll let you guys know how Blue does too. He was doing really, really good this morning. Um, they're going to remove the ball on his joint and they're going to check one little lump that he didn't have before Amazon ran him over. So we'll let you guys know when we get a phone call this afternoon on whether he'll be home tonight or not. Slow down a little. Let's see if we can Great see Oh, great digger. We should run a little bugger over. I was going to, but you wouldn't let me. Yeah, she stopped in the wrong spot. You can go forward a little. Oh, go forward a little? Okay. Yeah. Right there. And I'll zoom in. That hill right there in the middle of the screen, that is the trees right across from our driveway. So that's where we are in relation to the shop. We're only a couple miles away. Yeah, we're three... I like, guess three miles like, by road. I think maybe if that. And these are the people mom was all worried about getting a hold of. Make sure we oh, still yeah, have it. They went down and they went up in the brown spot. Are they done? The dirt spot? Yeah. 
anyway, um, apparently they're thinking about selling probably in the next year or so. That is what it is. Seems like everybody's freaking selling everything. Out. Smart, I'm smart enough to grab that right now. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh. But there are quite a bit of trees out there. And uh, Jim McCann's man that used to own all this before he passed away. And he planted all that out there. Shaw bros, that's why. He was, uh, yeah, he farmed up here, raised sheep. And he picked her on the block and then when he was like 18 years old when he was logging he had a branch come down and pop him in the side of the head so he was legally blind for most of his life and to farm stuff oh, he had the sheep at this end of the field and up toward the house up there is, he had that for farm ground and at each end he had like a four inch chunk of PVC pipe stuck in the ground every so many feet. He could see that. He saw shadows, so he could see that. And that's how he farmed. And she's just stopping and looking to see how far down they went. Down to the bottom. I didn't realize there was that much ground in that piece. They went down to the bottom. You know, all we ever had was the top. It's, I'm just going to guess there's at least 40 acres on that side of the road. Wow. Anyway, that's enough, Gavin. So coming down the road, now I can't see back there. There you go. We used to farm that little patch until the people built a house and decided they didn't want us to. And now we're almost at the farm, but it's right straight in front of us over there. We still farm that little piece. I wonder what come around the S turns up there like, whoa, there's a little boy in the road. <laughs> the oh shit moment because it's a blind corner. Yeah. That's because those people are going to log now. Kind of interesting. Anyway, we're going to hear a lot of saws for a long time. We've been listening to them for quite a while. For months now. Maybe we've been listening to them cut part of that back there. I don't know. So, hey, okay. it's all a crop. Do you want to go up to the other end? So, that's Take what I know. Around. Oh, five. The baby in the back. Sorry, I'm wiggling. The road's not the smoothest. Slow down. So I figured we'd show you them sneaking across. We're just cruising around checking fields while we're out. Coming up here to turn around. I don't know what's going on with this place. Well, the guy used to bring his cows up here and summer them up here. And, you know, not much fence left now. But we keep seeing somebody go by with a fancy pickup and trailer. So I don't know where it was. Around that Dad and I talked years ago about finding out who owns some of this up here. Shit, they're redoing part Maybe of doing something. Right there. It's almost a waste, but oh, hey, yeah. if it works. A little patch there the county ended up with, and then they did the auction and, you know, whatever else. No, they pitch you with a little drive today. Make too long of a video. But if it wasn't hazy and foggy out there, it's a hell of a view and it's clear. Yeah, for sure. But all this basically wasted ground up here anymore. That's your fence since last time I've been up here. Squirrel. She's been busy looking at squirrels. He's a fat little fucker, okay? Anyway, that's what this part of the country looks like. Scotch broom, weeds, and crap. Used to all be really nice, clean pastures full of cattle. Well, it ain't gonna focus, but yeah, it looks like two link belt. One of them's a log loader, the other one maybe a processor. I don't know. That's where we met the low boy in the road, and I tried to get you the quick video that didn't work out so well, but eh, hey, it's there. Thought I'd show you the perspective from this direction. There's a light box, almost ready for paint for our four inch LED flashers, tail lights on the back. She's finding out how much fun it is to get pilot holes. 
those will get drilled out with a 5 16 and tapped out to 3 8 and uh, flange bolts. We'll hold those in. And the big hole, that's where the wires will go in. It's going to be at the top of the box. Just box them out on the other side like that. Wire in, another wire come out to go to the other light. And I got a couple of burrs there yet. The other light's got a smaller hole. It's only got just the one set of wires to go in yet. Yeah, it's over there. And my phone doesn't want to shut that off again. I neglected to tell you that Ron was here in the last clip. He was outside on the phone. So there he is. Say hi, Ron. Hello. See, works every time. He uh, went and got a cortisone shot in his shoulder today, and sounds like he got lucky. He's got an appointment for Friday to uh, go in and get some work done on it. It, it should prove interesting. We'll see what he's doing just come Saturday. <laughs> And uh, got a phone call from Becky a little while ago. She got a hold of the vet. Blue went through surgery beautifully, recovering nicely. Uh, should be able to pick him up by 5 o'clock. And uh, oh, another yeah, hour. And I thought I'd show you. Look at that. I'm not done painting yet. This one's got two coats on it. That one only has one. But it's dry enough for another coat, so that's what I'm going to do right now. And yeah, I know, runs again. I don't remember having that much trouble with that paint before, but maybe after it sets a while. I don't know. I really don't. I'm not too worried about it either. Get enough layers on there and the runs disappear, right? So, anyway. I probably won't get blue in the video because, you know, I probably won't be home by then. But, still got to finish drilling. Until I got the pilot holes. Still got to run a 5 16 through and tap those holes before these things go on. And uh, it's sunny outside right now. Been windy all day and rain off and on. So, yeah, better than it could be. Thanks for watching, everybody. Shut off, camera. It's doing it again. That's because you have gloves on. No, it's not because I have gloves on. It's because it's screwing up. So, I got to push the button that shuts everything off.